first up Giants fans could share with the quick initial reaction video to this crazy game against the Washington football team here the Giants get their first win in a game that was honestly way too close for comfort 20 to 19 right down the wire and you know what first things first I'm gonna just say a win is a win you know what I'm saying I have desktop audio muted because they got ads playing on the ESPN website and stuff and I don't want to show anything that might be considered an, an ad that I can't show but a win is a win man this was a team win and if we lost this game it would have been a team loss you know what I'm saying but the, the team Jesus Christ I want to say if the offense performed better <laughs> we would have run away with this game because the defense in the first half held it down they, they, they collapsed a little. I won't even call it collapse. They just got tired in the second half. In the, in the third quarter, they got tired. And then in the fourth quarter, they were on the field for basically the entire quarter. Washington dominated us in town possession in the fourth quarter. But then the defense made some luck with that Tay Crowder from a recovery for a touchdown play. So they came through then again. And then, of course, on the uh, two-point conversion play where coverage was, you know, tight. And, you know, got pressure on Kyle Allen. He ended up throwing the ball away into the dirt. So they did come back, but the defense performed outstandingly this game with injuries. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Graham, shout out to the players. This defense is really good. And I could only imagine how good it could be if we had one or both of our starting outside linebackers. Because our sacks today and our pressures did not come from them. We got a sack from Leo, who was an inside D lineman. When he was placed outside, he got that sack. We got a sack from uh, Logan Ryan on a cornerback blitz. Pressure, for the most part, came from up the middle. So we're really missing those outside linebackers. Middle linebacker wise, David Mayo was in there for a little bit. Cornerback wise, James Bradbury continues to show that he's probably the best cornerback in the league. He got an interception. There was a second play that, you know, he he, he got the ball in his hands, but it was out of bounds down the stretch. Uh, <sighs> defense was outstanding, man. I just I'm so proud of this defense. We're not winning this game if it's not for them. You know what I mean? And, and it could be so much better if they have all their pieces. And then on the offensive side, I mentioned injuries. This is why you go into a game with more than four wide receivers. I said it. If there's one thing that I'm going to call out Joe Judge on constantly and something he's been terrible at, it's roster management. And CJ board prayers up to him. I think it's a sprained neck and concussion was his injury. He went out and when he got knocked, he got knocked out. You know what I'm saying? And, and that was a that was a play. Me and Pest talked about it on stream. He was knocked out with the other player's helmet. The player led with the Cronder helmet. That's illegal now. The refs didn't call it. And, and the refs either didn't call a lot of things. Once again, more holding calls this game, just like last game that wasn't called. Or they called a lot of things that shouldn't be called. The defensive holding on Blake Martinez. That's stupid. That's that's ref ball. The, the what's it, unsportsmanlike conduct? Or, you know, it's not wasn't roughing the passer because it was on a receiver on Kyler Fackrell. You, you're calling that when that has been happening to the Giants all game. Number 54 on the Redskins did it to Devontae Freeman and they didn't call that. And, and then, of course, um, the interception on Daniel Jones. And Daniel Jones didn't perform great this game. He, if he performed better, this is a runaway game. So, you know what? I'll give people that said that, uh, that he should have been better and this would have been an easier game. But that interception is not an interception. That guy, you know what I'm saying? Kendall Fuller was out of bounds. His body was out of bounds. None of his feet. Only one of his foot was inbounds. The other one landed out of bounds. And his upper torso and his elbow also landed out of bounds. That's an out of bounds play. Granted, it's a little bit is on DJ um, because of the fact that he couldn't throw the balls out of bounds properly. You know what I'm saying? And it, it looks very, very similar to that Steelers pick um, that uh, ended up in the hands of the defensive lineman. Very similar. Like almost the same play, except I think he was trying to give it to Evan Ingram, if I'm not mistaken. And just like last game too, Evan Ingram disappeared in the second half. You would think he would get involved a bit more because we're we're down to three wide receivers, but he did not. You know what I'm saying? So I guess what I'm trying to say is it's it's great that we have this win, and a win is a win. We're now third in the division instead of dead last. But there's so many things that need to be fixed. First things first, we need to go and either elevate all our wide receivers on the practice squad to active roster because we need it. I don't know who we're getting in free agency other than Corey Coleman. Uh, honestly, I don't know if it's smart to make a trade at this point. You want to keep your draft capital for the draft. So really the only way we could bring in a wide receiver is either through free agency or elevate the dudes that we have on the practice squad because we're now three wide receivers. A CJ board in playing Thursday. And you know what? That's exactly what's going to happen. It's a short week. They're going to need to replace through practice squad. So they need to do that first. They need to talk about keeping their heads up in the second half. 
because that's two weeks in a row now the offense came out and just collapsed in the second half granted like i said injuries is a thing but they didn't adjust they didn't start using wayne gallman more they didn't start using Dion lewis more they didn't start using evan ingram more you know what i'm saying so adjustments may need to be made um defensive wise i'm happy like i said i mentioned a few things that were, those are nitpicky though with the way this defense performed i'm happy going into next week and i'm happy with they're performing like a top defense without all their pieces there offensively though the injuries are going to take a toll but we need to do something and dj needs to improve he didn't have a terrible game but he didn't have a good game either he had like a very below average game and he started off strong too but needs to improve for sure man 100 needs to improve you, you i will say though something that got me and pest excited that fake play maybe they should use his, his legs a little bit more he had even faked the cameraman juked out the cameraman out of his boots and dj was down the field like 30 40 yards use that a little bit more garrett you know what i'm saying just like la so many things similar to last week and we ended up losing last week's game although this time we were able to overcome the refs and, and it's crazy it seems like the giants are so snake bitten that they can't even get calls in that in their own home field like the calls are supposed to go your way at your own home field and it just seems like the calls were going all washington's way man yeah it's like they just want they just want us to lose or something but that Ooh, it gets me so it's like this this is almost a cursed franchise man like nothing could go right you know what i'm saying the offense starts going you know starts going down the hill a little bit and then bam injuries 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 the play calling because of the injuries thus becomes simpler because it's like what can you do with limited talent what can you do with limited receiving weapons limited offensive weapons in general and then bam the refs calls on top of that start flowing like shout out to tay crowder and his recovery of the fumble for the touchdown because without that we're 100 losing this game without that the giants don't even stand a chance you know what i'm saying so shout out to tay crowder maybe he's the mvp of this game you know managed to creating a little luck for the giants defense themselves with the way we lost games to like chicago rams and last week we needed a bit of luck on our side and, and tay crowder mystery relevant the last pick in the 2020 nfl draft is out here doing work you know what i'm saying the rookie and I will say, interestingly enough, on uh, uh, since we're talking rookies, Andrew Thomas, I wouldn't say he was benched, but him and Matt Pert took turns at left tackle today. But they kept Cam Fleming in there all day. I wasn't sure what that was. Um, Matt Pert, in my opinion, had probably a better game than Thomas. But it's like, why not just have them both in there? Whether you have Thomas at right or left, Cam Fleming is worse than both of them. I don't know why they were switching them. Maybe they're waiting until next week or the week after to put Fleming in. I mean, put Pert in permanently. But they were experimenting. With that tackle spot and down the stretch washington was just absolutely obliterating our offensive line which is why i'm not getting on daniel jones right now for him not having a great game the, the dude literally had three weapons you know what i'm saying and his offensive line was getting blown out in in the fourth quarter so it is what it is a win is a win let me know what you guys think this is the initial thoughts put your thoughts down below and i'm out Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.